<laughs> I'm getting thumbs up, we've got a bribery coming, I should probably wrap up. Um, just to say before we get started, if you've got your mobile on you, please, would you just make sure that it's on silent for me, please? Um, I should probably check my own. Um, you are welcome to keep them on. If you want to take those back up, absolutely fine, but please just, just do make sure that they are on silent. Other than that, please do enjoy the ceremony. Um, and now, I think as we're ready to go, please, would you all be upstanding to welcome our lovely bride? Um, if I may, before we get started, my colleague over here today is Helen, and she is one of the registrars for marriages in this district, and today she will oversee the signing of your marriage schedule, and later on she'll enter the details of today's ceremony into the online marriage register, where there will be a lasting record kept for all time of your marriage here today. <laughs> and my name is Laura, and it's my pleasure and absolute privilege to be able to officiate for the two of you here. So I will begin by telling you all that this place in which we're now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And we are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Ian and Nicola and to witness their vows of matrimony. I think they should get a bit closer together. I'm not sure about the social distancing. Okay. Get your name <laughs> Through their vows today, they are making a commitment to each other for the rest of their lives. The words are a formal and public pledge of their love, their respect, and their true friendship. Together they will be stronger to meet whatever life holds for them. But in each other's company they have found happiness, fulfilment, and love. And they now wish to affirm their relationship with this marriage in front of all of you, their loved ones, <laughs> today. But before we do that, I have a very important question for this young man standing at his side, for John. And he has been prepped in, in the side room. He does know the required response, <laughs> which is... Uh, so, John, do you wish to give the hand of your daughter Nicola in marriage to Ian? I most certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> and give us that. Would you like to give her a person you can take your Love you. Seat? Love you. <laughs> Take your seat, Matthew. Would you like to take your seat, Matthew? Mind that step, please. Real pretty, that's right. Alright, you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little spin and line. So, the first thing that I need for the both of you to do, please, is to confirm that we have the right people here today. And we're going to do that by confirming your full names. 
Um, and traditionally, we begin with the groom. That's something I didn't warn you about earlier on, so I do apologise. But you are going to go first in everything today, so you get a chance to mess up first. So could I have your full name, please? Ian Simon Drake. Thank you very much. And Nicola, your full name, please. Nicola Jane Neal. Thank you very much. So now we find out if you brought the right people, because <laughs> if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should please declare it now. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> the babies were quiet. <laughs> so that means that we are allowed to carry on. You can see So before you are joined in matrimony, I am required by law to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows. He pipes up now. Yeah. Of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But more than this, of course, marriage is a relationship based on love and trust, encouragement and support, and the sharing of much joy and laughter. So I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to make a legal declaration that you know of no lawful reason why you shouldn't be joined together in marriage today. And again, we're going to start with you, Ian, if you may. So would you please repeat these words after me? I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Ian Simon Drake. Why I, Ian Simon Drake. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Nicola Jane Neal. To Nicola Jane Neal. Right. You smashed it. You no, did. did. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Nicola Jane Neal, <laughs> so why I, Nicola Jane Neal, may not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Ian Simon Jake. To Ian Simon Jake. Did you hear that over the giggle? I did, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So now the solemn moment has come for the two of you to contract your marriage before all of your witnesses here today. The exchange of marriage vows in the presence of witnesses <coughs> forms part of a very long tradition of marriage in this country. Now, although Helen and I are required by law to be here to ensure that this is a legal marriage, the vows you are going to make are, of course, to each other. So at this point, may I take your hand? Yeah. Yeah. Place those hands. I'm going to ask you to turn the face to one another. And I'll sort of go for that. It's my favourite bit of the chocolate. There we go. I'm going to ask you to join your hands, that you're already there. <laughs> what would you like to see? So before we make your contracting words to one another, I'm going to ask you to respond, I do, to a set of promises. Again, Ian, we're going to start with you. So this is quite a long question, so do bear with me till the end. <laughs> Although if you want to jump in, you know, it's all right to be keen. Um, and then if you could please respond, I do. To <clears throat> so I ask you now, Ian, do you take Nicola to be your wife? Do you promise to comfort her through life's difficulties, rejoice with her through the good times? and remain true to her for the rest of your lives together. Okay. I ask you now, Nicola, do you take Ian to be your husband? Do you promise to comfort him through life's difficulties, rejoice with him through the good times, and remain true to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. Well, Ian, Nicola, you are about to make the most absolute and trusting commitment that any one person can make to another. You are about to put your love, your life, and your future happiness into each other's keeping. So for this very important moment, please can I ask of our guests, if you're able, would you join us in standing, please, to support our Yeah, yeah. good point. <laughs> okay, so Ian, if you're ready, would you please repeat these words after me, but speak them directly to me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Ian Simon Drake. Ian Simon Drake. Do you take thee. Do you take thee. Nicola Jane Neal. Nicola Jane Neal. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. 
I promise I will love you. I promise that I'll love you. Comfort and cherish you. Comfort and cherish you. From this day forward. From this day forward. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness the tie. To witness the tie. Nicola Jane Neal. Nicola Jane Neal. Do you take the Do you take the Ian Simon Drake. Ian Simon Drake. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise I will love you. I promise I will love you. Honour and protect you. Honour and protect you. From this day forward. From this day forward. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Okay. Would you like to take your seat today, please? So now we come to another very important part of the ceremony, and that's the exchange of rings. The wedding ring is the ancient and traditional way of sealing the contract that you've just made. It's an unbroken circle symbolising unending and everlasting love. And it is, of course, the outward sign of the lifelong commitment that you've just made to one another today. So I'm hoping that in the last 20 minutes since I saw them, Rob hasn't lost the rings. Well, oh, she's wrong. <laughs> so like, Rob, have you got your yes. pocket? <laughs> Which one first? We would like Nicholas ring first, please. We've been through this. Just not taking my rings. No, I thought you could take them. So, if you would like to present Nicholas' ring to Ian, first of all, thank you. We did rehearse. <laughs> Try. Right. One job. I've been working with you. Carrying the whole time. Hey, peanuts, what do you get? <laughs> you know him so well. I know. <laughs> So would you like to place Nicola's ring on the third finger of her left hand? That's it. Wiggle it out. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Just hold it halfway down the finger for a moment, Ian, and repeat these words after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of the love we share. As the token of the love we share. And the vows we've made today. And the vows we've made today. I don't want wait. <laughs> so Rob, we got another ring there? I can do. Excellent. Thank you very much. Excellent. Would you like to place the ring on the third finger of your left hand and just hold it halfway down for a moment and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of the love we share. As a token of the love we share. And the vows we have made today. And the vows we have made today. So whether you are together or apart, may those rings be a reminder of the love that you feel now and the commitment that you've both just made. Today is a very special day for you and we really hope that the happiness you two have found together is yours through a lifetime of love, laughter and friendship. And I'm sure that all of those lucky enough to have witnessed today's ceremony join me in wishing you every happiness of your future together. You have now both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family and friends and before Helen and myself. Which means that without any further ado, it is now my very great pleasure to announce that you are husband and wife. <laughs> Thank you. 
annoyed for the very newly married Mr. 